This is Golf Smarter. Back in 2013, we were introduced on the Golf Smarter podcast to John McGuire, and he was launching an Indiegogo campaign that would introduce a new product called Game Golf for the golfers. And he was just launching it, trying to get it on the market. Golf Smarter community stepped up, contributed more than anybody, and now it's on the market. So I'm gonna do a review of it today. I'm wearing it right here on my belt. And we'll see how it goes for the round. And then I'll take you back to the house afterwards. We'll load up all the information. We'll see how it works. Part of setting up the game golf is that you have to prepare each club. And at the tip of each club, you have a little red marker like this. And the red marker, you assign which club it is. So that when you tap it to your game golf, on your belt buckle, then it knows exactly what club you're hitting. So when you go back and enter all your rounds, it tells you which clubs you hit, how far you hit them, how many putts, how many greens in regulation, how many fairway hits. It gives you a tremendous amount of statistics, including the average length of the shots, the median length of each shot with each club. So you can learn a lot about your distances. The thing that I find fascinating about game golf is you have to make it part of your pre-shot routine. And that's not difficult when you're on the tee, maybe even when you're on the green, but when you're in a bunker, in a situation where you have to think a lot more than you usually do, it's easy to forget. The good thing about game golf is that when you go back and review your score and review your round, you can add those shots. Now that we're finishing up the round, we're gonna go back, hook the game golf up to my computer, download all the information and see how it works. Let's get started. Okay, I'm back in the studio. I've got my scorecard, which it's really important to keep your scorecard to track down to make sure that game golf gets it right. Um, I do keep track of my fairways hit, greens and regulation, and number of putts to make sure that the game golf has it right. I have my game golf unit here. Um, and what you do is we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the, to the laptop. Uh, you can hook it up to a desktop. You can't hook it up to a mobile device right now. It's a micro USB port. Just plug it in here and then put it in your computer as I'm doing here and it automatically shows up. My battery's low so I'm going to charge that before my next round but it gives you space for nine rounds. I think that's excellent. Um, so let's go ahead and download the two rounds that I have in here now. So my problem are my mid-irons, and I have learned a lot about that. So what I've been working on, of course, on my mid-irons, but also on my short game so I can get up and down more often. At around this weekend, I had six up and downs. That's huge for me, and it also saved a pretty decent score. Okay, round one is ready to go. Round two is still reading, but it's round one that I'm most concerned about. It shows that I shot a 79, 7 over, which obviously I didn't. I shot an 88, so we need to go over it hole by hole to figure out what actually happened. Now on the first hole I had a double and that's what this shows so we're good with that one. Let's go to the second hole let's just focus now on when we come up with some problems let's just focus on the scoring right now and then we can get into more details if we want later. Second hole I parred and this shows that I only had three shots um, but I didn't. I had four shots so I need to add uh, a shot so I'm going to go to the third shot, add a shot do my putter. So a one putt out of the sand, it showed that I did hit from the sand right here, which is good. And I got myself in line to do it. Now we go to the third hole. So we're okay on that. Third hole I birdied, and this shows that I did birdie it. Once you get the hang of it, it goes by a lot quicker, and I'm still new to this, but I am enjoying the information that it's giving me and helping me on my rounds. Okay, number seven, I birdied, and that would be a par five, and I got it in four. That's good. Uh, then number eight, the curse of the birdie. I got a double bogey. <laughs> Why is there a curse of the birdie? The reason it doesn't show that extra shot is because I had a penalty. I lost a ball, I hit it at OB, so I'm going to go to my driver and I'm going to add the penalty stroke, one stroke right here. And now it shows a double bogey. Really intuitive, very simple to do. And again, once you get the hang of it, it goes very fast. Number 13, I had a bogey with uh, one putt 
and it shows two, but it shows a bucket. So what happened is uh, I was not on the green. I hit it off the green. So I can take this and make it. So I used my putter because I was on the fringe, but it shows that I, I had two putts, but I actually didn't. So we're going to adjust that and make it a bogey and make it with one putt. Now you can see here that it doesn't necessarily show it exactly right. So we're going to just move things a little bit so it shows that I was on the green and I put the ball in the cup and that I was just on the fringe over there. Let's move on to 16 where I had a big, big disaster. This shows I had a 5, but actually because of my two penalties, uh, I'm going to add a penalty here. Now it should be showing me as a 6, and then I was behind trees thinking I can get over it. I'm going to add another penalty here because I thought I can get through that shot and I didn't. So this was a disastrous hole. You know, most I can take is a seven. And I don't mind doing that on a par five, but on a par three, that hurts. So now let's go ahead and review the card. If I look at the summary, it shows that I had one, two, three birdies, and I did. I had the quadruple here. Um, let's close that up and look at the scorecard and show overall that I did in fact shoot an 88 and that's what it shows. So this is correct. So now all I have to do sign the round make sure it's correct. Yes I want to sign that card and I'm posted. It gives me all some just some great statistics about my score, fairways hit, greens and regulation, uh, number of putts per hole average and scrambling and that's anytime you're not on the green in regulation and you make a par that's scrambling. And then if I go into my rounds, wonderful. Your average score, 86.1 in the rounds that I've entered. Um, and it shows me here, 19 double bogeys, 35 bogeys, 33% pars. So I'm paring a third of my holes, but I got to work on the other, <laughs> other problems that we have right here. And then the uh, birdies, 8%, luckily more than the triples. Um, fairway accuracy, I'm, I'm a little bit better than half, but could be improved. Greens and regulation, I really need a lot of work on that, and that I know. Putts per hole, averaging two putts per hole. Now, if you want, you can even go through not only the rounds, but your clubs. Each of your clubs and get a good sense of, look what they do. They show you your median length and your longest and the shortest, but where the dispersion is, where they land and the distance. And this can really, really help. I mean, when you go to the driving range, you know you're supposed to get the sense of how far you hit each ball. But when it comes to playing, do you really know how far you hit each club? Well, this is going to give you a great indication of what you're doing. And that's how game golf works. If you'd like to hear more about game golf, we had a great interview with the CEO, John McGuire, on the Golf Smarter podcast in 2013 when they were trying to raise money. And we're going to get him back on the show in 2014. I'm going to go out and play a round of golf with him, and we'll talk to him further. So check it out at GolfSmarter.com. Golf Smarter podcast is free on iTunes.